Hey, Janet here with Radiant Wanderings. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that red subscribe bar below. And if you really like it here, go ahead and click on that notification bell, then you will be the first to know when I post a new video. And, well, let's face it, sometimes it's nice to be first. Anyway, I digress. We are here because traveling as a family is a lot of fun, but it's no secret that it also has a few challenges. So we are here to get the real scoop from the kids. What they love, what they hate, and most importantly, would they go again? Hey, welcome to our first kid corner. We are here with Lizzie today. How old are you, Lizzie? I'm 11. 11 years old, and she just got back from South Africa. So we're gonna chat with her for just a few minutes. So, have you been out of the country before? Yes, one time I've been to Canada. Okay, so this was a pretty big trip for you, right? Mm -hmm. What about shots? Did you have to get any immunizations? Um, I don't think I did, because I was all caught up on my hepatitis A, I think. But my brothers and my parents both had to. And did you have to take any malaria pills? Yes, we did. When did you start those? Mm, well, we started those, like, maybe the day before we left Cape Town. Okay, so partway through your trip. You yes. Okay. So you left here, and how long was your flight? Do you know? So we had, like, a 45-minute flight to Chicago. And then we had to go from Chicago all the way to Qatar, which was like 13 hours. <laughs> How was that? Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible? Why? Uh, the food was not that great at all. And uh, it was long. long. And then from Qatar, how long was your flight to South Africa? About eight hours. Was that one a little better? Mm -hmm. A little shorter, huh? Yeah. Okay, so when you were in South Africa, you started in Cape Town, right? Yep. And what did you do, what stood out there that you loved? Um, I really liked everything in Cape Town. The first day that we were there, we um, hiked Table Mountain. And it was hard, but it was really cool when we got to the top. So Table Mountain has a cable car you can take up. When we went, we took the cable car. But this girl and her brothers and mom and dad hiked all the way up it and they took the cable car down. Mm -hmm. And how big were some of those steps? Oh, they were like, I don't know, two to three normal steps. So would you recommend that other kids hike it or a cable car? It depends on if you've hiked a lot before. Because if you haven't, then it's not a good one to start off with. And then you went to see the penguins, right? Yeah, that was really cool. From Simon's Town. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we went to this one beach that was just like all rocks. And then we stood on the rocks for that. It was really fun. And then watch surfers. Mm, yeah, watch surfers. Mm -hmm. And you did the waterfront the first night, right? Yeah. So after Cape Town, where did you go? We went to Zimbabwe after Cape Town. And what's in Zimbabwe? Oh, look, we have a visitor. Hi, Fletcher. <laughs> what's in Zimbabwe? In Zimbabwe, we went to Victoria Falls, and then we just, like, walked around the town. And what did you think of Victoria Falls? It was really big and really awesome, but if you're going to do Victoria Falls, you can't see Victoria Falls from the bridge. So you kind of have to pay to get in there. And how much does it cost? Do you know? Mm, no, but I think it's like maybe around $130. Not sure. A so person or for your whole family? For a family. Okay. And then um, you also did something special there, right? To get an extra look at the falls? Oh, yeah. So we took a helicopter ride. That was super cool. If you have time, you should definitely do that because it was like a 12 minute flight, I believe, and it took you up, around, and over the falls. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, there you have it. Get that 
helicopter ride at Victoria Falls. And then from there, where did you go? We went to Kruger. And what is Kruger? Kruger is a national park, and pretty much it's where you're gonna see all the animals. Like? Like lions, giraffes, elephants, zebras, Monkeys. So, like, a, are they in a, like a zoo? No. So, it's like wild people. <laughs> so, um, pretty much you just drive around with the animals. And it's really fun, actually. Like, we drove a lot each day. And usually I hate driving, but it was really fun. So, definitely go to Cougar. And so, you can't get out of your car because if you do, you might get eaten. <laughs> so what was your favorite animal sight in Kruger? Probably the lion because we like really wanted to see lions and if we didn't we would be super sad. And you saw quite a few baby animals too. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite baby animal that you saw? My favorite baby animal that we saw was definitely the hippo because it was like the middle of the day and hippos usually don't like come out of the water then because they could get burned. So they just swam out. I think the mama was teaching a baby to swim. So they swam out and then they got onto the land and then they like got into the middle of this little island and then they were just walking around. And I have like a really cute picture of that. So yeah, that was awesome. What month did you go? Um, we went in June. June, the beginning of June, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the temperature was pretty good too, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be a good time to go if you want to see the babies and not it, it not be too hot. Okay, so after Kruger National Park, you went somewhere special. Tell we us about went, that. We went to Hazy View, and in Hazy View, there was an elephant sanctuary, and we got to interact with the elephants. So pretty much what we did was they let us like touch different parts of the elephant, like the trunk, the tusk, the tail, the feet. It was super cool. You and have a picture of you hugging the yep. elephant's leg, don't you? Mm -hmm. They're African elephants, so they're huge. They're really yeah. good. <laughs> My mom was really scared. She was like, hello. <laughs> and then the trunk and hand, what was that about? Then we walked the elephant, so pretty much what you have to do was you have to go like this and you have to put your fingers out behind the elephant and they would just put the trunk right here. And you just take them for a walk? Like Pretty that. much. You walk in the elephant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was cool. Fun. And then after that, let's see, you rode them too, right? Yes, after that we rode the elephant. So it was really cool because, you know, in the circus they had like those huge balls. Yeah. They didn't have those then. Just so. bareback. Yep. So tell us if any other kids are going, and maybe they don't have time to do everything that you did. How long were you guys there? 10 days? We were there like around 10 days, two days of travel. So yeah. So what would you say definitely don't miss? Definitely don't miss the elephant sanctuary. Um, and I'm gonna say if Victoria Falls is on your bucket list, then you have to go there. Cause my mom wasn't gonna go there, cause she was told that it was not that great from somebody who went from the bridge. And so, yeah, she made my mom go there, <laughs> and my mom just loved it so much. Um, and then don't miss Cougar. We stayed at the Lower Sabi in Cougar. And then Bergendahl, really for the camps, I really like the Wasabi more. Um, yeah, Bergendahl was a little creepy, but <laughs> if you don't care, then you should go there too because they have more rhinos. So yeah, that was cool. All right. Well, thanks, and have a great rest of your summer. Mm -hmm. You too. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to be featured, leave me a comment down below. And if you want more info about South Africa, you can visit radiantwanderings.com and search South Africa for that blog post, or just find the link down below. Have a great week.